So this is what we call a philanthus. I think it's Neurii. Uh, it's endemic to an area, I think, just off the coast of East Africa. But it's sometimes a greenhouse weed, which is super interesting to me. Now, philanthaceae is its own thing today, but in the past, as recent as 93, I believe, this was all sunk into Euphorbiaceae, but you know, genetic analysis, I guess, really showed that they were pretty distinct, enough to warrant their own family. Uh, one of the big distinctions is that I guess none of the group here produces any sort of toxic latex. But if you look at the uh, flowers of these up close, you can see why maybe they were grouped together early on. And they're certainly related to some extent. Uh, let's put on a little macro here and see what we can see what we can see. Going in. There you go. Those are the flowers born in the axles of the leaves, and you can see they do kind of have a Euphorbiaceae feel to them. I think they're actually conglomerates of individual tiny flowers. The coolest part is if you look closely there, you can see a nectary ring, which is just a couple segments of tissues that are producing the nectar. It's kind of in yellow there. But look at that stigmatic surface, superior ovary interesting morphology to the plant and they're very very attractive flowers you just need a macro lens to truly appreciate them but i like that in a plant now if you look closely here are the fruits you can see the remnants of the uh, stigmatic surface there so this is best i can do uh, but it's like this little dihiscent capsule i believe falls off and uh, spreads plenty of seeds and as you can tell uh, they germinate pretty well. Also, if you look down, this is a messy pot. It might drive some of you up a wall, but bear with me. Uh, we've got this Simlotum, uh, I think the whisk fern here, growing as a little potweed as well. I'm letting grow. Got a little fried over the summer. Not sure what all this stuff is. Other weeds from growing outside that we'll clean up eventually, but a little philanthus seedling there. This one. It's a cool mixed pot if you enjoy biodiversity, like I do. And just in case you were curious, this is a pot weed that we've been let happen in, in a Pananus, Pananus furcatus, gifted to us. We had to move it over here to the greenhouse because uh, this was really unpleasant to have to try and fit into the small confines of our apartment. Many of us got spined uh, and dragged this plant behind us. So um, it's enjoying much more space to grow out here in the greenhouse.